of those whipping winds, check out the incredible video behind us. This is from Clinton, Mass. Watch. Part of a roof literally comes blowing off of a building on the other side of the overpass behind us. All across the region, reports of debris flying, trees, power lines down. Last check, still thousands without power across both Rhode Island and Massachusetts. Eyewitness News reporter Alexander Leslie joining us live with the latest now. Good morning. Well, according to National Grid, there are close to 300 power outages in Rhode Island right now. The power outages caused by strong winds that led to damage across the state, including one devastating house fire in Coventry. Now, flames at the home on Plainfield Pike broke out just before 9 last night. Officials tell us it was fully engulfed by the time the crews got there. Officials say a homeowner even tried to put the fire out. He suffered minor burns to his hand, but is expected to be okay. No fire crews were injured. But they do say they ran out of water a few times. Mutual aid came from several departments to help. Of course, the big challenge, though, was the wind, which was in part to blame for the fire. Officials tell us the fire was likely caused by a portable generator being used because the home lost power. They were using a generator and... You know, that's, that's, as it looks right now, it looks to be accidental. Wind didn't help matters. It was basically a wind-driven fire, yes. An official say that home is a total loss. The state fire marshal's office is investigating this morning. Coming up in the next half hour, I'll tell you about some of the damage it caused here in West Warwick. Uh, the wind caused damage in West Warwick last night. Reporting live in West Warwick, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.